Hello guys, and welcome back to another CAFCAST! Today we are back here in the wonderful world, the wonderful, new, and fantastically amazing world of... Minecraft! Jurassic stuff with things and stuff and things! It's so exciting! Minecraft International Zoo, Doug, can you believe it? This is amazing. Are you gonna come with me? Doug, are you coming with me? Are you, are you gonna just... Oh god, okay, let's just give you some food. There you go. Right, okay, so... Today, we... I, I, oh, this is so difficult. Today, what I wanted to do was spend a little bit of time just kind of looking around, really. I wanted to do, like, a great big circle around the uh, the area that we have here. Um, and it kind of made sense to me just to sort of, like, go for a big old... Oh, God, the creeper! Oh, God, no. Oh, God, no. Oh, God, no. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Okay, let's just see if I can quickly just... Oh! oh. And again. There we go. Right, okay. Our, our Miz... Standard issue gear here might actually defend us from like big bad problems. Can we take this guy out? Yeah, okay. We're, we're actually pretty good. Right, so that's the idea today. We're going to spend a little bit of time looking around. I have got myself an iron pickaxe, as you guys can see here. Um, I spent a little bit of time going down for a little wander in that little cave uh, that you that you guys have seen. Just over there. I'll, sh I'll take you there in a second. What I wanted to do was just make sure that I had... I don't want to take all the Pokeballs with me in case we die or something really bad happens. But I have been told by you guys that apparently uh, there's a grave pet. Yeah, so you can get this pet here. Uh, and then what this guy does is restores your inventory after you die. Uh, and it requires an emerald and a chest and some stone and a bone. So there are actually, like, tons of really cool items that we can get in this in this version of the game uh, with the, uh, the the minecraft inventory pets which actually are super fantastic i'm really looking forward to messing with them some more but uh, but anyway so we've already come from that way we know that there's a snowy biome out there oh my god there's one of those wraith things there let's just let's just try and avoid that a little bit it does look like we're quite lucky uh, is doug around here yeah doug you're doing good here we go look i'll give you no, you're fine. You, you don't need any more food. You're, you'll be okay. I've got some. I've got some raw fish. There seems to be some kind of like plains out this way. All this land around here is actually relatively flat, apart from the fact that we have all these um, lovely-looking trees around here as well. We also, as I said before, have this little mine going on down here. Let's just move this bit of gravel out of the way. I made a little sort of like halfway house just here. Um, purely because we can carry on, like, investigating the mine this way. Look, there's a, a zombie with a... I can't see him. I can't see him. Let's just quickly do that. And then there you go. Good job. So we there's more, more iron there as well. This is good. Right, okay. So, I think what we might do is spend a little bit of time mining on the next episode, maybe? Uh, but this episode's purely about exploration. And, and what, I, what I will actually do... It's on the next episode, I will get you guys to vote on the first animal that you would like to see in our zoo. Because then that gives you like guys like a good week maybe to decide on what you would like to see in our zoo. Which means that we'll have like three or four episodes where we can choose a spot to start the zoo. Make like an entrance, you know, do all those kind of things. And then uh, I'll make sure that you guys keep on going back to that episode as well. Because then... You have a really good opportunity to... I've run out of dirt. This is this is not the best situation in the world, Doug. Because then you have a really great opportunity to, uh, to, to have a nice large amount of time to sit down and think about what you might like to see as the very first animal that we have in our exhibit. And I want it to be something cool, like pandas. Or, well, actually, you know what? Cows are cool. Pigs are cool. I don't really mind. We could use any any of those kind of animals. I, I don't. It's it's entirely up to you guys. But today it's all about adventure. So let's go for a bit of a wander this way. I've got some more cooked chicken that I can give Doug when he gets hungry as well. We already know that out here are these really really interesting plains. There's some, a killer bunny there, which we're just going to try to avoid. But as you guys can see, this place is just so nice around here. Look at this. Look at all of this. Look at all of this. Look at it all. It's just a beautiful, a beautiful amount of like wonderful, wonderful plains. There's a really tall tree over there that you can see in the background, in the distance. And there's another like mine down there as well. I feel like we actually have a really, really cool map to play on this time around, guys. So the other ones have been good, but I feel like we can make this into a 
a really cool home. Doug, just be careful of the tigers. I just realized we've walked into tiger territory here. Just move onwards, move onwards. That might end up being the first animal that you guys decide that we want to go with. There's a duck here as well, a mallard, if you will. Another one inside this little pond here. Oh, man, this is lovely. I want to just see what biome connects to this, though, because obviously it's kind of important for us to know. There's something weird up there as well. That's interesting. I have no idea. What is there anything else in the sky? No, just that. Just that one specific thing. Is that something we need to deal with? We've got to try and take care of some business over here, Doug. Are you going to be okay? Oh, my God. It's actually like some kind of platform or something. It looks like. Oh, God. Oh, God. Right. Okay. We get... Um, it, Okay, we might have to we might have to take this out. I don't have enough I don't have enough stuff with me to get up there. That's a problem. I'll tell you what we'll do. On the next episode, we're going to go up and find out what the hell that is because that looks really amazing. But look at all this beaut like we've got these beautiful lakes around here as well so we can do some like little pond hopping stuff. There's a big ocean over here. So that actually literally that biome links to the ocean and then this side is like some really large trees and stuff. I wonder how God damn, I'm really interested to find out what that's going to be, but it'll have to be next time. Man, oh man, this, there's not only the fact that we need to build a zoo, but we also need to find out about all the new mods that are in this pack as well. Uh, it's a custom mod pack that I made myself, so unfortunately I can't link it to you guys because I don't have permission from the map, the mod creators, but a link to all of the different uh, mods is in the description so you can rebuild the pack yourself uh, and use the uh, tools that I've given you guys. And if you'd like it as well, let me know in the comments... I really am more than happy oh my God, to teach you guys how to make a mod pack, how to put all these together and make them into your own little place. Oh, there's a... Whoa, God, that was that was a bit close. Well, there's plenty of iron around here. You, Doug, be careful. Be careful, Doug. You're good. You're good. Look at this. Massive, like, cavern just randomly in the middle. Is there even, like, some water here that just straight up has not started flowing? Oh, my God. That goes... Wow. That actually... The water is like above the... Oh my god. That's so weird, isn't it? Look at that. That literally... There's there's no nothing flowing underneath this water. Oh my god. Is this more ravine? No, it's not. It's just like... It's just like a really random bit that just... Oh. <laughs> well, now we're stuck in here. Oh dear. Okay. Let's just try not to... I, want, I don't want to interfere with that because that could be something that we could like use later on. I don't know how we would use it, but... I can I feel like it's something that doesn't happen that often, so I don't want to just waste it because we could build like some kind of like shoot or something. I don't know. Who? Oh god, no, I've ruined it! I've ruined it. Officially ruined it. No, I haven't. No, it's okay. It's okay. Just get a piece of dirt here and quickly put it back there. And it's not ruined, guys. I didn't ruin it for once. Hooray! Oh god, no, I fell down again. <laughs> oh god, and I can't get back up again because I've fallen down. Okay, no, I can get back up again, I think. I've, I've made this kind of, like, relatively easy to, to get up. There we go. And then we'll move out. Oh, which way is it? Yeah, if we if we just break this one again, and then we will quickly just put it back and just leave this area, because quite clearly we are, we are doing bad things. We want to get past this ravine, though. There we go. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're doing this. We're doing this. And it seems like this river kind of, like, flows around, because I think... Do I have my... Ah, oh, the waypoint's gone. I need to add a new waypoint for that thing. Do I have to have the book on me still? Nope. Okay, well, it's all right. We can find our way back if we if we do get stuck. It's not a problem. I can always make another waypoint so we can get back again. But it seems like the foresty biome over here goes into, like, a sort of, like, a steep hill or, like, a highlands biome. Dense forest into... What was that? Red food? Fo roofed forest. Okay. Roofed forest. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is awesome. Oh, wow. Look at this. Doug, are you str- Oh, my God. This, this dog, I swear, is just ridiculous. Doug, how have you got caught? Where are you? There he is. Okay, there he is. Actually, you're okay, aren't you? Have some more food. Come on, let's go. This is good. So this is literally just a massive roofed forest area. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Look at this. Let's just get a couple more of these oak saplings out the way so we can just have a little look around. Yeah, it seems to be just a beautifully roofed forest area, which... It's a little bit scary, but actually, I kind of feel like it's nice and safe as well. And there's the house. Yeah, so there was around the back here is the roof forest. And then we know on the other side there, that goes into the ice biome. So we've kind of managed to get our bearings. I feel like the best place for us to start working on an exhibit is 
definitely going to be going in that direction, that way. So we can actually go ahead and make take advantage of all the, like, flatter areas. We're probably going to need to get ourselves some kind of axe. So I might get that extra bit of iron and make an axe for ourselves as well. I'll tell you what I'll do. Off camera, I will do a little bit of mining down in this little shaft that we've got here. And I'll gather up as many bits and pieces as I can in terms of, like, iron but also get loads of stone. So the next episode, we can go and find out what that weird, awesome place is, because that place looks absolutely incredible. Doug is uh, is, is going and taking names. Good job, Doug. Good job. <laughs> this is absolutely fantastic. Oh, dear. But until next time, guys, I've been Caf of the CAFcast. Thank you very much for watching. I think, hopefully, you guys are as pleased as I am with the, the, the this area and how just absolutely amazing it seems to be. Uh, and I'll see you all next time. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. You've been watching the CAFCAST We hope you have enjoyed the show Don't forget to check out All of our other videos Oh and be sure to subscribe to us If you like what you see That way I'll know to make more And that you really like me So You've been watching the CAFCAST we hope you have enjoyed the show Don't forget to check out All of our other videos